and welcome to the Friendly Jordy jo- New and improved Friendly, friendly jo- Jordy's jo- podcast. With- and the reason it is is because this episode is sponsored, as you can see, by Pilot. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. And we'll yes. have a chat about that later. And we will have a chat about that later because, as you heard in the pre-show, uh, now that Ali's gone, the mice come out to play and the mice do not understand that this is an audio medium. <laughs> we came on and you can also sign up to our Patreon. I know that we should, probably shouldn't be mixing plugs, but yeah. usually you get an extra half an hour and this half hour this week will just be us <laughs> flailing around in desperation <laughs> like we are astronauts <laughs> <laughs> in a satellite that is running out of oxygen very quickly. <laughs> to see. Oh my God. Uh, so trying to say, Houston, we have a problem, but no one's hearing. <laughs> I'm going to wing. Um, okay, look, I'm going to feel this one. I'm, I was supposed to be technical supervisor. I was replacing Ali. And I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have to be connected to the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Um, so... As is always the case, when it is just me, Miss Love here, I think that we speak on behalf of the audience that hates these episodes. Who needs our league? Eh? Who yeah, needs think, our league? We when you've got a podcast and you have no audio, that's avant-garde <laughs> stuff. That's It's called like, art. Exactly. He came back from Berlin, the <laughs> land of artistic ideas, and he has some himself. Yeah, look, I'm trying. I'm taking it podcasting to brave new places. I.e. not having a podcast. <laughs> it's full show. <laughs> Circle, if you think about it, because like, what is more than being than not being? You know what I mean? No. <laughs> but then again, I'm not from Berlin. I'm not one of these sophisticated artsy types, as you can see from this yeah. jacket that we rescued from Miss Love, sending it into the St. Vincent de Paul bin. Thank you so much for this homeless yeah. man jacket that was sported by. I put I mine think, on too. It's uh, hot, Homer but... Simpson when he was friends with Ned Flanders. Saying, come on, just feed and slap and let's get out of here. <laughs> you have the, you could not be more Homer Simpson if you tried. No. Nah, you really nah, could. Nah. <laughs> so I, this was all part of the uh, the my sort of Vinny's haul, which you would have known if you if you'd have been kind enough to listen. No, obviously if I had plugged into uh <laughs> if I had plugged in the apparatus appropriate to listen. Yes, but yes. can I just ask? You can hear us now, right? This is very important on a sponsored podcast. We, you should be able to hear what we're advertising at a bare minimum. They can hear us. Okay, great. Um, I hope they can hear us because all they're saying is like, uh, the Patreon will be well worth it. Of yeah, course this is absolutely. The- Sign up today. Of course. Of course, this is happening on a sponsored video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, friendly thongs, and I'm not talking about the ones on his feet. Dang. Ooh, how do you know? Uh, because I'm very scared. I am wearing a thong. We 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 might look. We'll still. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the chat. We can still entertain you guys and say a little. Uh, we'll give you a few answers. Hobo Slav Prime Sub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, all the idea of old timey piano. <laughs> Us in these jackets just being like, yeah, I think it's not that. I think it's not that. That's just amazing. But uh, look, that was what one of our very creative Twitch audience members did <laughs> while we were flailing around aimlessly. It, look, it couldn't be any more Charlie Chaplin if you tried. You, oh. the, the whole point of technological progression is for you to have something that is better than something that was filmed in the 20s. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yet here we are. <laughs> Dude, someone subscribed for 18 months from that segment. So it worked. <laughs> um, so. Can I just say, you couldn't spend your money any better than that. Hell yeah, yeah, exactly. Not better. Food? No. Nowhere near as important. <laughs> you said it. Um, but yes, welcome. Obviously, yeah, we are. Um, we are justifying all the uh people that sorry not justifying all the people that say it uh the, the pod lacks somewhat with our lead obviously wrong there you, you sh- you've really got egg on your face you you should really be ashamed <laughs> of yourself and i hope you are uh, i hope you like my art project i you know it, it took me nine months to get there and, and it's really it's, it's been just super yeah, rewarding see, to uh, always wondering what does miss love do on this podcast and now we know he comes up with long-term vision Okay, yeah. and I do emphasize vision, no audio. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> exactly, <laughs> specifically. But I think because people always complain that this isn't substantive enough when Ali is here. Yeah, I Pathetic. thought that we would do something very left of field 
for this podcast. Yeah. And talk about how awesome the Labor Party is. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit up. We've got some segments, but uh, you know, usually, usually when it's uh, your boys over here, it's usually flying by the seat. Much more of the intellectual. Pants. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> it's usually... Uh, See, the glasses that Ali wears is a complete front. He's a sham. I'm the one that wears them. Miss Love gives him all of his notes beforehand and he's just a talking head. <laughs> exactly. All right? I'm and as the you brains. Can see, as he's dressed, exactly like that guy in the big short that saw the global financial crisis happening. He's, a, he's very... Yeah, that's you know right. He's doing. That's right. I, my, my contribution <laughs> is air drumming metal going... do 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 just be like, and it is. And then, yeah, that it is, is your contribution. That, that is my contribution. I have seen you do that to your own songs when we fade in, being like, excellent drumming. <laughs> you know that it's... You know. I wrote it. You wrote it. <laughs> You're sitting there oh, being like, wow, fuck. I wish I could play like that. <laughs> Man, that'd be sweet. <laughs> um, so we've got a few... We've got, we've got a long... Li- obviously, this is amazing. This is big news. We have a sponsor. Obviously, the best time to... Uh, look, no, have on. a sponsor when the one person that knows how all the equipment operates <laughs> is not here. He's just... That's how yet we- another W in the long list of victories that is the Friendly George Hell podcast. yeah. No L's here. We, we, nah. we keep it... Come on. You're, L's are for learners' plates. Okay? Exactly. And we're not that. We're, we're learning. <laughs> <laughs> we're the bigger L. Um, but yeah, so we've got a, we've got a long list of stuff and yeah, you can hear us. That is what's happening. If anyone can't, if anyone can't hear us, let us know now. Yeah. It's Uh, because you have worse ears than Miss Love at this point. (laughs) So listen up kids. Here's Um, something that you haven't heard before on the Friendly Geordies podcast. I like Queensland Labor a lot. Damn. That's bigger than the sponsor. That's huge. Yeah, I know. Finally. You're wondering what side am I going to go on in the next election? LMP, just to mix it up this time, Mm -hmm. I've decided, mm, no, I'm going to steer the course. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hell yeah. See, this is the problem with these things. You're like, now you don't... Once the person said yes, I can't see you. No, we can't hear you. I think they're just trolling. Well, that guy's just trolling because they're all asking stuff. Yeah, don't don't pay attention to the <laughs> chat now, Miss Love. Sorry, they are. Let's be honest, quite vile. I'm just going to message our producer. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so believe it or not, this bloke in the tattered rags supports Labor. What a surprise! Huh? Man's party. Yeah, uh, this comrade over here with his bloody. With his with his bloody two U E in the eighties jacket. All you need is those thick rimmed, like really blind, like for blind people glasses that everyone yeah. in labor wore back then. One From the ads of the really like really large. I don't know what they are, but they're a type of flower. It's not a rose. That was the you know, style the back things. then. It's that, just that was like, the style. What was are you that a about? Politician or a clown? <laughs> and watch the difference. <laughs> yeah, 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 guy, hey, you've got my script, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, yeah, like. Watch the go. Of course you should pull them. Are they the last strong... Sorry. They're, no, no, no. They're labor. No, they there. are the weak point. Oh, they're the weak point. They are the weak point. Right, 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 right. But no, no, no. Wait a sec. Tazzy... Did Tazzy flip? But look... Tazzy's as big as Tazzy's Does Tasmania Queensland. count? No, it doesn't. I need to it's know a, this. It's a football field. Mini said yeah, it's working Yeah, exactly. I got, I got success and it's working now from... Mini and the stick. Dude, the most unqualified people on this podcast are the ones that are on it. Like all these lovely people from behind the scenes, <laughs> like their technical ability, making like amazing sponsorships happen, like amazing connections, really looking out for us. And then us two, two bumbling idiots that, you know, there's no audio. Not that stressed. <laughs> 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 Still cruising. How is this the case? Like, Miss Love's the tech guy. You know what Miss Love did when he was setting this up? It's too he has hot to put in, this in the again. password. Yeah. And Miss Love, instead of pressing the shift key, presses caps locks to put in a capital letter and then presses caps locks off. <laughs> yeah, instead of shift. That's how much of a boomer I am. That's, like, that's, that's, like that's, 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 that's like a hundred year old man move. <laughs> it gets the job done. What does it matter? I need time to recuperate. To remember the rest of the password. Now, have I put the capital letter again? Well, the caps locks off, so but just to be safe, I'll do it. Hey, it's not logging me in. Computers, am People, I right? And I think you don't pay attention. You were like onto that situation, like fucking, like 
ASIO, dude. How did you? Yes, that's exactly what happened. And that was precisely my <laughs> thought process. I was just like, oh, no, it hasn't worked. Well, time to get on this tango just again. <laughs> just click it again. <laughs> uh, well, I can't see if it changed caps or not. Look, honestly, and they think what, they wonder why productivity has gone down in, in, in the West. Uh, yeah, so that I is me. Technology, <laughs> well, we wouldn't have this problem if the computer didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. So uh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. like the green jobs at the energy plan, I just need to hawk it because no one in the press is. What a surprise when all they have is Fox News. Yeah. Coast to well, it's one coast in Queensland, but it's a damn big coast. I w- yeah, yeah, and it's earth. nothing but the Burdock Press. So obviously they're just running the crime <laughs> angle, which I really need to start pointing this out. Reddit nerds, mm-hmm. you know how you spend your entire worthless lives sitting there <laughs> arguing over AFR articles that you don't like with Greens people that are like, oh, for some reason the AFR article agrees with me, so I like the AFR now, right? Yeah. That's all well and good. Yeah. I honestly think that you guys should be instead, in the comments, inserted news.com articles sitting there saying, here's why you're wrong. Be snide to people that actually matter. Mm, yeah, mm, mm, we all mm. know that most Greens voters will probably green out and be like, oh, the election was this Saturday. Okay, well, I can get it right the next time it comes around. Mm. So they're not doing anything anyway. You need to go to the Courier Mail comment section and you need to constantly be hitting every one of these crime scare beat up articles that they put out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sit there and just keep asserting the facts over and over again. Youth crime and crime in general under the Labor Party has been consistently going down. Right. It is not going to go down under the Liberal Party because all they are doing, it is a two-pronged method. All the Murdoch press ever does is focus on the cowboy moves. Bob Catter's classic line of, just send him out bush. Hell yeah. That's his answer to it. And like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a damn good idea. If we teach him some skills. I don't mind that idea. You know, how yeah, to yeah. birth a horse. I'm sure that'll come in very handy in an IT job. Yeah, how to smoke meth. There's more out there. <laughs> uh, we, 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 we I'm t- on it now. It's a big problem that we're trying to get over. One problem at a well, time. Well, some of us are anyway. <laughs> Clearly, Bob Catter is not. That's, my entire hat just has meth underneath it. No one ever checks me when I go into customs <laughs> because I've got diplomatic immunity. Yeah. Just like how Jimi Hendrix used to shoke his a bandana in a acid, I shoke my cowboy hat in methamphetamines. <laughs> Just slowly shaking Anything I've got in. so much energy when I'm 90. <laughs> Uh, and so, look, uh, there's very good arguments on Bob Catter's end. But the thing is that that is all the Murdoch press says is a joke. Labor, very soft, because all they've done is increase car theft from five-year offence to a 12-year offence. Unbelievably soft touch. In police. They've, they've uh, increased police by 2,000, and the Tough on Crime Party increased it by 800. So Shit. weak on crime. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. It, it's every time it's the same story, isn't it? Same story every time. I blame the media. Yeah, yeah well, I said as it. you should. I said it. Someone's been paying attention. Yeah, hell yeah. No, that no one in Twitch is. Everyone in Twitch is sitting there just being like, remember when we couldn't hear them? Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. Though. And they were. <laughs> they were great times. Heady days. Heady days indeed. Um, but, but okay, so yeah, I want to keep rolling this off. I want to know. But that's, that's what they're pushing, right? Yeah. And you need yeah. to just keep hitting over and over again. They are tough on crime. They're extremely tough on crime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Every time you're here, it's just like there's Vaseline on camera too. I don't know I'm why. I'm just going to help them deal with that after. Sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm fucking you up so hard here. I'm just like, well, no, no problems here. Take these problems here. <laughs> hey, dum-dum. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah, but I'm both of us. Uh, yeah, so you need to be hitting that all the time. But yeah. the thing that the, the, all the press do not want the public to know, mm. which is that all the Greens voters anyway constantly whinging about Labor not doing enough on renewable energy. This is what they have done in Queensland. And everyone's always shitting on Queensland Labor. Queensland Labor has put a huge tax on coal. Massive tax. Okay. They're bringing in an extra $12 billion a year in royalty. I think even more. Jeez. $12 billion a that's year. That's mental. You know what they're funding with that? Great Barrier Reef? No, that, that's in other revenue because of fiscal management. Oh. <laughs> but... <laughs> You can take him for that. Hell yeah, fiscal management. Now that's Fuck yeah. Another that's a euphemism for the word exciting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Anyone else hard here? I know I am. <laughs> the wonderful wears at Pilot. <laughs> Pilot. And also because of the fiscal stuff. That gets me hard too. It's but, a double know, just, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a double pronged attack. <laughs> if you're out in a date and fiscal what was it? Fiscal uh, management just some for some reason doesn't get you hard. Yeah, if someone if, if your date mentions that and you're not instantly hard, there's always Pilot to uh help you out. Roger you know? it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bob Catter certainly doesn't need it. And he really doesn't, eh? No, nah, probably not. He really, no, he, he doesn't. No, no, Bob's good, dude. Dude, that's where this stuff, I'm sure that's where it comes from. It's Bob Catter's sweat. I yeah. can say that confidently. Bob knows how to ride bulls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, so okay, so basically, cops have been well-funded. That's baloney saying, like, the Crime Stoppers Party is actually funding higher. The In terms of they've the- massively increased penalties, but they've also increased the number of Crime recidivism program, so to stop mm. people from offending again. They've mm. 12 dozen very well-researched policies from across the world. They've just looked at what works. So they've got both the cowboy and the hippie approach going. Yes. No other party's going to yes. do that. The, t- the, the LNP are not. They're just going to yeah. scrap those. That's the only policy to be tough on crime. Get rid of the things that stop crime. That's mm. their tough on crime policy. Mm. You need to be hitting that. But also the Green Jobs and Energy Plan, there is... Did you know this, Miss? Mm. There talk to is me, talk to me. virtually no renewable energy program in the world that is more ambitious than this. This is mm. a huge amount of money. I think it's something around 60-something billion dollars that they're pumping into this. This is more Jesus. than the federal government is putting into this. Are you serious? Just Queensland by itself, in a coal state. And they're taxing coal in a coal state. That's amazing. To fund That's amazing. the most ambitious energy transformation program Arguably in the world. This is huge, huge stuff. A mm-hmm. huge, massive energy program that they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. LNP pretends that they're on board with it. They're just like, yeah, yeah, we support it. But they also support getting rid of the coal tax yeah, yeah, that yeah. Labor has course, implemented. So course. they're not going to be able to fund it. So in effort, they're just saying, in effect, they're saying, we're not going to do it. They're just too scared to say anything about it. And the press will not say anything about this incredibly popular program, especially because all publicly owned. So instead of having a privately owned dirty energy industry in coal, Mm -hmm. they are making it a publicly owned clean energy transformation that's set to just make the economy go gangbusters because we are talking about an economy revolution that is going to make energy so much cheaper. As we all know, energy is the crux of the economy. Everything revolves around energy. This is going to be publicly owned, so it's just going to be funding itself endlessly. It's going to have so many more jobs, both high-tech and low-tech jobs. So like a bunch of blue-collar jobs, a bunch of uh, white-collar jobs, all well-funded by the public purse, with a profit going into Treasury at the time that they are also taxing the coal industry. And Dang. of course, the press, someone ain't even going to know about it. And then everyone goes, oh, all of a sudden, Anastasia Palaszczuk's approval rating's gone down. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why that happened at the exact moment <laughs> yeah. that she ordered a tax on coal. It's, you can see always, the polls just go a, down like it's that. It's the same story, yeah. It's always the same story with that shit. It's always just like the media jumps on, you know, it's paid by the opposition through the media and then just sort of like hammer them now just be like, she's stumbling. It's just like, just say what you're really saying. That is the advantage of like fascist countries. At least they're just sort of like, we hate her because she's taxing coal. You know, it's so, it's so much that, better. Just that, just that, just that like, you know, a theory, like the, the, the mirrors, smoke and mirrors whole like, you know, plan. Yeah, it's so much worse. I know. Just being just like, pretending, sh- oh, she's stumbling up. No, yeah. it's not. Shut up. <laughs> and they can just say that. Yeah, of course they can, because there is no counter-narrative. So what yeah. I'm saying is, Queensland, yeah. you really need to start pushing it. I'm going to make this a huge focus of the channel. I'm terrified about it, because the thing is, Queensland really, in this election, is at a fulcrum. Like, if this passes and yeah. goes ahead, and they successfully beat back the Murdoch press, can you imagine how much more, amb- more ambitious all the other governments are going to be? Mm-hmm. Queensland is at the front line of climate change. Not just That's climate insane. change, a complete revolution in the economy, and they are putting everything they can into sinking Anastasia Palaszczuk as a result of that. Where are you going? I'm just changing the channel. Why? Because it's blurry. Now you keep chatting your lovely face. So that is what I want everybody out there to be doing. This is my 
big crusade. I want everyone who listens to me to convince three Queenslanders to vote Labor. And I think, honestly, the Jobs and Energy Plan, just on that alone, I'm going to be going through a bunch of other stats. I'm going to be going through their health record. I'm going to be going through their crime record because it's nothing to shy away from. Nothing is there to shy away from. You know what else they're doing? I didn't know this either. This is what happens when you have a Labor government in for 10 years. They just keep getting better and better because every time you inv- you get a Liberal government in, like Campbell Newman just fucked that state entirely. They had to start with 20,000 less public servants. They had to build that up first. Then they had to get the economy back on track. Now that they are in that position, what they're doing is you really don't know how good you've got it. It's not just the green jobs and energy plan. They are also investing more in infrastructure mm-hmm. than any other state than the federal government is because they're in the position to do it because they've been in there for 10 years mm. just balancing the books very carefully so they can start doing crazy things. Mm-hmm. That is insane that a state government is investing more in infrastructure than a federal government is in one state. And That's you're going to throw all of that out because um, there was a carjacking in Townsville. <laughs> Why wasn't Anastasia Palaszczuk doing a citizen's arrest? Hmm? Well, Shame on you. Blood on your hands, also, Palaszczuk. Look, look, also a good point. Yes, that's true as well. Now, anyway, let's just cut back to that. So that's, that's my big, no, 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 big push. No, 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 absolutely. It's a fair thing. I mean, like, this is the thing. I think that we c- you get complacent because you're like, it's basically just like etch a red sweep and it's easy to get complacent and just be like, N- you know, it, 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 never going to be another issue. That's it. Let's just like, you know, I don't know. Let's start pegging our Molotov cocktails into cars. Why not? We've got, we've got nothing better to do. Like, you can just do it. But that's not the case. Like, the, the meat... Like, Dude, all of this stuff is cyclical and there's always a pushback. Like, dude, it's not going to stay like that forever. And it's e- if it could easily go the other way and go to the libs, that's not good. Just in terms, e- purely, like, even just on the environment, it's just going to be brutal. Because if you yeah, can give, like, Bioki The, the environment's Peterson, its own story. That's going to be tragic. Like, the legacy of Queensland's... Look, from what you've told me, uh, from what I've heard, the legacy of Queensland's policy has just been, like, insane. Like, Bioki Peterson and shit... What was his thing like? Don't worry about that. Don't you worry about that. Just like- he made it his book title. Switch to the other camera. <laughs> yes, made it his sir. book cha- ch- title. Just, just imagine me as an old man doing this in the front cover, going. <laughs> 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 Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Insane. I got to read that book. Oh, you got. I, I would love to know that man's like opinion of himself. I'm surprised you haven't read it. That's amazing. Me too. It's That's hard incredible. to find. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, of yeah, course. Would you believe? Yeah, just like Gumtree Publications presents. <laughs> you know, or some shit like that. Or more aptly like, you know, BP Publications yeah. presents. I really um, don't. When's I'm, I'm election- holding out for it to be in Penguin's Classics. Right? <laughs> That's a good crime and punishment. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, appropriate book to be exactly next year. Exactly my thought. <laughs> that and uh, Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Um, I, uh, Miss, think it's probably time mm. to excitedly announce this our is, sponsor pilot. We are so happy dude, to have them on board. This we is, really are. This is, this is huge. This is huge. I like, yeah, this is amazing to have a sponsor and to have uh We love it. And a ballsy sponsor and at a that. Ballsy, that's what we like, like a about good, it. A good Literally sponsor. a ballsy like, sponsor. No pun intended. A very ballsy sponsor. Um, dude, I'm going to munch down those gummies. Yeah. I'm going to munch them down. Yeah, it'll be like Demoxinil in The Simpsons. You'll come back and you'll have a Jufro. <laughs> it'll be great. It'll fit so well with this jacket. You can't have it back. You're going to have to get your own St. Vincent de Paul jacket, Miss. You, no, that's you yours. That is yours. That's yeah, yours. Well, it's fine. That's my gift to you. How are you going to explain the Jufro? It's either uh, going to be that or you're just going to be wearing Chicago Bulls. <laughs> also great. Also a great choice. Amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, as because we just thought, what an incredible sponsor for the Reddit stories. So good. It just good. fits like that. It's so perfect. That's what we call synergy. Hell in yeah. business. In business, as we call And so, so before we get into everyone's favourite segment of this podcast, yes. I do need to just mention that plenty of blokes struggle in the bedroom. Pilot is a private service. There's two because in front of you. Go on. Yeah, damn two. It happens to all of us. Yes, it does. Well, look, Miss Love's being... I'm being facetious. Generous. He's being facetious. <laughs> we all know it's him and Bob Catter are the most virile <laughs> men in this country. Easily. In Queensland, that's for sure. You could really get the birth rate up by yourselves. <laughs> You'd be in one of those milking factories except for men in Mad Max. 
Just I mean, you two sitting there. Being Jesus. Like, in another way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'd be amazing. I, that's my dream, my lifelong dream. But uh, Pilot is a private service that prescribes evidence-based treatment that are uh, backed up by clinical trials to get your floppy fella as hard <laughs> as the rope microphone arm. And we, and we know, let's be honest, <laughs> half of our audience, come on, you guys, you, I'm sure, I mean, you're, first of all, you're Gen Z. And from what we hear... The death grip is a thing, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't know about this. It's a death grip thing, and oh, no, it's not and, just a band. And and I know, I know you're all, exactly. Damn, you know your shit. Yes, I do. Um, and I and I've also, you know, I've heard that there's websites now on the internet where there's women exposing their ankles. So I can only imagine the hoo ha mm. you get up to in your in your privacy of your bedroom. So yes. like, listen up, prick up your ears, youngsters. Exactly. Uh. Sorry. We're talking about Go erectile on. dysfunction. Yes, yes, we are. None of you can get that, it. None of you can There was a lot of illusory imagery there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, so I thought yeah. we should probably just get it back to the fact that, yes, we're talking about <laughs> premature ejaculation here. When it's Shout hard out. to blow Shout before you're ready, Pilot has you covered. Hell yeah. So, and this is the exciting part. Look, if you're experiencing that, if you're experiencing hair loss... Anything men related, yeah? We have a pilot code, Jordy20. Uh, you get $20 off your first order. So get your orders in now. Help you help me. <laughs> help you. Help you. That is, yeah, it's That's so That's what rad. we're talking about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be munching all of this stuff down ourselves. I'm just going to, I'm so keen. So it's, uh, so yeah. And, and first, dude, round of applause to us. And, and pilot as well. This is our first sponsor. Like, that's incredible. Oh, yeah. This We're is, so happy about it. Huge. Well done, Spike Pilot. Uh, we really commend you on your gummies. We, Oh, no, that's going to come in handy very soon for us. <laughs> yeah. And so it's just great to know that they have our back. Yep, yep. Now, yep. on to Reddit story. Yes. A good segue, a perfect segue. So we've been given a bunch, as we usually are. I've just stumbled upon one, which I'm going to highlight because... It was just enough for me to be like, this is good. I'll highlight it for you, Jordan. It's a thread. I mean, they're all along the similar lines of debauchery. Yes. This one is one of many that we had to choose from. And the thread is, what is the most fucked up story from your hometown? Uh, there's a few. I've just highlighted one. It's not super long. So we can uh, scroll down and get more if need be. But let's just start with this. If not, if you if you uh, if you're over it, there's also another one in the next tab over. So let's start with this. Yeah, the Reddit. They love it, don't they? They love the Reddit. Uh, the Reddit experience, right? This is like, this is like a this is a huge winner. Winner, yeah. winner, chicken dinner. I know, and it's a win for us because let's be honest. We like putting in as little effort as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we love you all. Effort than we, we, it doesn't, but look. <laughs> we, so that, many this wins. <laughs> a sponsor. Not doing shit. Really. Like, guys, I'm, 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 I really understand. Every time we're sitting here, it is so pathetic. <laughs> it's, it's crippled. crippled by the way, head. by the way, I, uh, update on this. <laughs> it's infected. I have an infection on my leg, so I'm just like dying. We're, we're all just... <laughs> so it's just, it's just it's pathetic. It's crapping out. But the more pathetic, the better. That's what I think. And it's not a reflection on our love of you. We all love you. In fact, it's the opposite. It's like, you know, we're genuine. We're real people. This is how we are. We're, we're yeah. not faking it for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look, I really got to say, people that are... I, mean, I know we trash on Gen Z a lot for uh, all of them wanting to be YouTubers and TikTokers. But Don't do it. As we have proven <laughs> right now, it, it's a pretty damn good job. <laughs> it might it's, be Maccas, I don't know if that's your calling. Yeah, it might be Good. literally breaking your back in a building site and then being like, nah, mate, we didn't get it on camera. You're not getting compo. Like, I think it might be a little bit better. I don't make it easier for myself. Like I try to catch up with the, with the uh, you know, injuries and compo situations of living like in the third world. But like, yeah. dude, it's not bad. It's try not and get bad. on compo, this passive income. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're going to try this and then we've got some other bits. Don't you worry. We're going to, we're having fun here. Yeah. As we always do. As and by the way, to be. I should probably have said Ali is away getting married. <laughs> Pathetic. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, talk Doesn't about, pitch in. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah. Talk about a man 
So it's about being selfish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the audio wasn't working. Where were you, Ali? I mean, h- hilariously, he was the one that figured it out from, he called, I called him and he's- Yeah, but he had to call us back. He wasn't on call. <laughs> he didn't pick up, really, just pathetic. So you are not getting any of the sweet, sweet ad rib. <laughs> <laughs> you blew it for yourself, Ali. Yeah. And also congratulations. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Uh, three-day house party, Eddie Idiota's best friend being force-fed a couple of tins of gloss paint. Jesus. a group of 10 or so party goers. All right? That's, yeah, that's amazing. That's, uh, is he alive? You can't be. Does Reddit have a... Gloss paint. Has Reddit just turned into 4chan? Like, is there is there a whole sub-thread that's just like, how I killed my sister or something? Like, is he dead? I don't, look, okay, look, there's a couple of paragraphs to explain it, but okay, okay. I do like... Yeah, it's not a guy, long like, Reddit. A lot I, of the time, when it goes to Reddit, there is always the thought that, look, I know that you wanted to be a fiction writer, <laughs> and let's be honest, it's not going to pan out because there are many spelling errors in this <laughs> long... <laughs> but get to the point. This guy got to the point too fast. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've just realised too, I'm like, here you go, Jordan, here's your paragraph story. <laughs> but there's another one in the next tab. So once he was unconscious from beating from the uh, once he was unconscious from the beating and the pain. Oh, okay, so he's still alive. Shit. They sodomized him with a broom handle and his, his colon internally ruptured. Where was this house party in the favelas of Brazil? Shit. Did he piss off a gang. Wait a sec. These are his friends. Wait, you, you have to read that last bit again. Sodomized with what? A broom handle until his colon internally. Oh my god! This is this is this is not this is too. I'm so sorry, man. We're trying to get sticky fingers on this party to regale us with their party (laughs) antics. No need, Jesus. Yeah, like that that take. Well, I mean, let's be honest. Half of them probably do have ruptured colons. (laughs) Dude, that probably is being written by Pat. He's just like (laughs) crazy times. (laughs) And they put him in a wheelie bin. It's not over. For fuck's sake, this is. Trash that- can for around 12 hours. Broom still in place. <laughs> what? Until discovered by authorities following a noise complaint. <laughs> uh, he, was, he was disturbing the peace in there, wasn't he? <laughs> well, I hope that you arrested that man. <laughs> definitely would in Palaszczuk's Queensland. <laughs> Damn straight. Or would she? Yes, <laughs> she would. <laughs> the reason that was stated in the local newspaper, the homeowner had a fight with his girlfriend who did some revenge flirting with the best friend to piss him off. In the end, she was the one who suggested the broom. Oh. I wonder why that didn't work. <laughs> what a lovely young lady. Is that it? I hope so. Oh, God, that's so bad. I hope that there's not another paragraph being like, and then <laughs> when he was in prison. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> they revisited his colon. Uh, today I fucked up. I accidentally revealed my mum's boyfriend's infidelity. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's one of the... Uh, this is more... Uh, this is this is your J.R. Tolkien read. Yeah, great, 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 great. This is what I want. Obligatory, this story actually happened about a year ago. Mm-hmm. I was dating a boy named Jacob. His father was a mechanic and his mum was an... Get that I don't m- know, Sam. I don't know what that means, get, but anyway. Get that mic closer. Go on. They were pretty typical white suburban family in the South and I asked Jacob if they could meet me even though we had only been dating for a month. At the dinner, I met his mum, dad, older brother, older sister. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. This is like when people stand off in university lectures and they're just like, hi, my name's Jason, third uh, trimester for my undergrad from Milwaukee. It's like, yeah, dude, look, no one Chomsky's cares. an old man. He <laughs> doesn't your, have much time. You're literally, yeah, he's going to... Like lucky if he gets through this speech. He should. He's on borrowed time. How much of his life do you think he's been devoted to just hearing him from Michigan Phoenix? Twelve years, <laughs> probably statistically. Yeah. Uh, his doctor told him that he was an O negative and universal blood donor. My boyfriend mentions that he's also O, but his siblings casually mention that they're both AB. I don't think anything of it because my boyfriend had mentioned that his mum was married once before and was widowed. The following conversation went like this. Oh, that's really cool. You're a really rare blood type. If you don't mind me asking, is your mum's blood type A and is your dad's B? Or is <laughs> it, 
You're a fortune teller? Is that how it works? This is like, this is, dude, dude this I, story I, sucks. I, I'm not finishing it. I'm, I'm done. There's, I've realized I am the worst podcast host. I fuck the audio. I give you <laughs> Reddit's D grade stories. Been like, and then can you believe it? She burnt the chicken. That that was the she, all that time talking about blood types, and we forgot that the chicken was on it. Was burnt, and I was really looking forward to chicken. Thanks, yeah. Reddit. And <laughs> you would love that story, wouldn't oh, you? Fuck, I'm so sorry. Oh God, this is much worse than the guy that masturbated in the pond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is much worse. But I just didn't realize the first. So I was, fuck. Go back to the first tab. There's probably more. Or scroll down. No, that's it. We're good. That's it. Fuck Reddit. Thanks, Pilot. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you so much for your contribution to this podcast. We love Pilot and we hate Reddit. Um, get your gummies. Get your feet as supplements. There's only one game in town. Can they tell us on the uh, on the chat if they if who who suffers from erectile dysfunction? Is that Pilot? Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. Let's find that out, guys. If you are one of these, uh, I, I think the official term is soft cocks. Yeah, oh, it's got to be. Yeah, uh, let I'm us just know curious because we're here to help. And uh, although I might not need it, I'm going to be uh, partaking as well. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to hurt. Um. Yeah, hell yeah. Should we go into nine hundred two one zero or the Byzantine? Well, and then that's we're gonna... for you to decide, guys. Byzantine yeah, you or 90210. You vote decide. now. Say what you will. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for See, both. Because unlike Ali, the communist, <laughs> we believe in democracy. <laughs> and we also believe that money is a little more important than love. <laughs> that's why we're here. It's just unbelievable what he's done to this pod. It's just kind of, I can't believe it. He was just saying, don't pay it out. I'm <laughs> like, dude, it's cool. It's cool. All right. Now, isn't this incredible? What are they saying? The line between the two sexes has never been more firm. Yeah, because we don't ever. have, how many female listeners do we have? Like, we still have like two and a half, right? No, we've got heaps of female listeners. Really? So often, chicks come up to me on the street and say, big fan of the pod. I'm like, are you really? a fan of me Dying to try and make this country a better place. No, no, no that was a bit cringe. Uh, I really like <laughs> that was hashtag. Miss Love. I really like Miss Love's thirty-year late reviews of Melrose Place. Yes, actually, shout out. I, I ran to a lovely young man today named Isaac in Aldi, and he was just like, "Dude, it was a mad interaction." He goes, "Are you?" He goes, "Are you Miss Love Bella Bradley? And I go, "Yes." And he was just like, "Do you? Are you on the Friendly Geordies podcast?" And I'm like, "Yes, I am." And he was like. Yes, that's awesome. That is mad. And then he started to talk about, proceeded to chat about, uh, he was, he's doing his last HSE exam tomorrow. Dude, I feel like an old man. I'm just like, you don't say, what are your plans? And he, but dude, he's still listening. He's like, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm like, how the fuck, how did you even find us? Hey, good for him. 17. So yeah, Isaac. Sick. Keep killing it and definitely Thank take you so a gap. so much for listening, you. Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was. Yeah, exactly. Such a, I don't know how you fit it all in. <laughs> Shopping in Sydney, kind of stuff, going living your last exam. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's a studious man. He wants to get why the you know mainstream media is going show woke. So he did a media degree, and I I respect it. He does, he puts his money where his mouth is. Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> Finally, someone has to say <laughs> what we've all been thinking. <laughs> has the left gone too far? Possibly. Uh, well, look, down the line, every mm -hmm. woman, talk about 90210. And as the TikTok meme suggests, all the guys talk about the Byzantines. Mm -hmm. Let's talk dude, about 90210. Yeah. Dude, 90210. Ladies first. Dude, I'm so happy to talk about it. Like, Yeah? Dude, um, can I... So I watched about three or four episodes. Can I keep watching it? That's a good start. Yeah. Because I was just about to ask you, Miss Love, yeah. as Jack's moist cinnamon pie rides. Mm -hmm. Well, there's somebody that frequents a lot of those masturbatory Reddit pages a lot. Uh, he asks, yeah. he says, Melrose Place, better than 90210. Dude, okay. What say you? Listen up. Um, dude, 90210 was everything I wanted Melrose Place to be. It's like everything I wanted yeah. that era of that sort of like whatever it is, drama, sitcom, that is what I wanted it to be. 
That was exactly what I wanted. It was, dude. So well, who'd have thought that a cheap spin-off that they chucked on after 90210? Yeah, was it to after? Soak up the same audience wouldn't be as good. So okay, that's you know what's really funny about it. Um, so like it's bizarre, but like a third of the actors in 90210 are on Melrose Place. They're the same actors, like not like a few of them. So it's just like the dude, original what? YouTube collab, eh? Yeah, what was the poll of like? What was the poll of like actors in Hollywood in the nineties? There's literally thirty people. It's like, well, we can't find another blonde white girl in Hollywood. We'll have to get her in the same show. I think that's actually how it was. It was, was such this a retirement innocent... plan. <laughs> what for, like the actors? Yeah, sorry, you're far too old for nine oh two one oh. You are fifty six. <laughs> now you're gonna have to play a twenty five year old <laughs> in Melrose Place. You're a bad boy. <laughs> just remember, you don't have three children. You just graduated high school. You're, the, you're Isaac. You're the kid that I met today. Yeah. Um. I just graduated high school. Damn it! He's reading a script again. <laughs> Stop improvising. Just, just, just go with it. Go with it. We <laughs> really don't care about this show at all. No, dude. Okay, so that, there was a few things that jumped out at me, which was uh, that the quality... Okay, so it's still got the Twin Peaks thing. like The, the, the Twin Peaks yeah, thing? Yeah, it's still like it's still got like the grainy film camera vibe. Ah, our camera too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got our Vaseline camera. Thank you again, Pilot. We really appreciate the sponsorship <laughs> for premature ejaculation. Yeah. Uh, so basically like... It's got that look. There's some, there's some, like the music's amazing because it's 90s. There's still like the crazy tackiness. Uh, I, look, I'll start, I'll start, I'll start with like, but basically the, the, the negatives, it's just like, they're still got the tackiness. Like the, the quality is low. Like the quality of like, there's scenes where they'll be on the beach and they've just run out of uh, film roll. So they're just doing overdubs. Like they're not, like, I just didn't have a boom or maybe like the wind picked Too up much. the boom. Yeah. So like we have to overdub it. Mm. So there's like literally a thing of them just being maybe like- using a tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just them just being like, Shindy, I love you. I already told you that. Yeah, yeah. And like just the Asian like dub what movie. What is like vibe. an 80s anime? That is, that happens a lot in it because it's just insane that these are like the world's biggest shows- and they couldn't, they couldn't like get down the basic elements of like a, you know a high quality program. Like now, the idea of TV now is just like incomprehensible to what it was. It was like faded out film, you know, just with like like surely you could have just done that shot again. Like what is your like millions of dollars? I don't understand. It probably so, just cost a million dollars to get all those cameras out on the bed. Probably, probably did. So they just it, went, we've got one shot at this it, and Luke yeah. Perry comes out and says like, I uh, don't love you, Cindy. It's love. Love. Damn it, he screwed it off. All right, go to post show. That, that would have happened. Dude, Surely. Totally, it's totally. It's so strange that 90210 was the greatest. It's it's just such a different time, isn't it? That you can yeah. take that to air. Yeah, 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 it's insane. Huge, massive show. Probably gets views similar to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and yeah, everyone's yeah. watching someone getting dubbed over. Yeah, yeah, And clearly dubbed. And then all of these people, these 37 million <laughs> Americans are sitting there being like, hmm, so everyone in 90210 is a ventriloquist. <laughs> Dude, it's tacky. So yeah, it is tacky as but the thing is, right? Here's the comparison to Melrose Place. And I'm still I've still got more to watch, but the comparison is dude, in 90210 they can actually act. They can act. They were the, some of them was melodramatic, some of the lines are melodramatic, but they could act. They were acting. Like this was like a breath of fresh air. They were mm. they were like and you know, like it was very of the time certain things like uh like the dad you know, you know what I realized? It was like, damn, like, I think like uh, domestic violence was just more accepted then. Because when the dad gets angry at the family, it's just like, he's just like, Cindy, we're not having a dog. Like, it, like he gets he gets so worked up. It's just like, dude, there's a scene where she gets a dog and he's just like, as soon as my back's better, we're going to the pound and, and the dog's going to sleep tomorrow. And she's like crying her eyes. I just like, but can we at least hold on to him to find like an owner? And she's just like, no, and that's final. And the mom's like, well, that's what your dad says. I'm like, whoa, it's like so, like the level of like aggressiveness and anger was so acceptable. And like if he slapped his daughter, the, the mom probably just would have been like, you shouldn't talk to back to your father, Cindy. It was just like a different time. Like, it, like it's just this, the you could be, really aggressive like mm. genuinely angry to your mm. children and other people mm. and it was fine and relatable too. like you know how the show opens 
It's like the 80, the amazing, uh, amazing intro as well. The, the sound design is incredible. Like all the like eighties guitars, the synths, the drums, like all the pads, all that shit. It's incredible. Like, I, I, like every time the music came in, I'm like, it, it made me be like, no, this is like as good as Twin Peaks, if not better. It's basically again is Twin Peaks. It looks the same, feels the same. It's just that like it's a little less self-conscious because Twin Peaks is basically that just being like Shindy, but it's just like, it knows it's being that. Whereas this is not, but dude, it opens up where it's like high school pans in. And as it sounds like, you know, there's fake punch sounds like, psh, psh, mm. Psh, mm. Psh. and there's two guys in the high school, uh, like fucking whatever, like play yard beating the living shit out of each other. But like uh, really hard. Like no, it would never have happened. In, that was another thing where it's like, damn, the 90s- So they didn't have stunt doubles or fight choreographers. I mean, they well- said, they, Look, you want to be on TV? Prob- probably. And it was the first guy getting beaten up was the same one in Melrose Place. He's like, don't ask me, I'm in high school. And it's just like the same 34 year old man just <laughs> bleeding from the mouth. I'm like, that guy's a pipsqueak. I'm like, why are you, in- you're a bad actor. Why are you in this show? You're not a good actor. You're bad in both shows. You're the worst in both shows. Cause 90210, they can act. There's one of the chicks in Charmed is in it. And I'm like, she's a good actor. She can actually act. Wow. And, and that guy is in it again. And he's just terrible. But anyway, so very keen on violence. Uh, Very keen on like, just, oh yeah, overt violence. Just being like, Jesus, like it just, it just, it, it made you, it, 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 like, it's like, yeah, okay, like the Rodney King riots in LA, like, must have been happening around that time. Because it was just like, <laughs> such a like, yeah, so lax on like intense violence. And this is like a, some like, you know, like soap opera for kids. Just shows you how weak we've gotten. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, there was three, there was three lines that I just thought were perfect. I, I, I just wrote it down as... as <laughs> As uh, as like placeholders because I've only watched like four four or five episodes and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep watching it because like I actually, I think it's one of these shows where Melrose Place just doesn't deliver. I so like it. Just, I like it. Full stars. That's incredible. Full All stars. Right. It's, like, uh, dude, we it was found a Steiner school for Miss Love. <laughs> and his passion and he's doing his own homework by himself. Dude, it was All a, he had to do was ignite the learning bug uh, in here. Yes, dude. It was a breath of fresh fucking air after Melrose Place. Melrose That's Place incredible. was so bad, dude. Like it feels like it would have been made by exactly the same people. It's much better. It's it's like and it's the kitschness is kind of I don't know, like it's ridiculous. But there's some parts where, you know, someone has like a, she has, she, this girl doesn't make it to prom and she's like watching a show that's about like murdering someone. Then she daydreams her going to prom with a chainsaw being like, thought you'd let go to the prom without me, would you, Jason? She's like, I love you. You're a goddess. I'd never do it. And she's like, and it's like, it's like, t- and, and because it's shot on film, like, again, we're just in like a good 90s movie. You know what I mean? But, um, but anyway, so there's these three moments, three that just, this is the tackiness, but it's so good. Dude, how good is this? <laughs> Just the time. So the first one is his, the, the, the main guy. And it's so funny. They're all hunks with like quiffs that are like really nice to their, fa- like, you know, it's just, again, they're all in their mid thirties just being like, babe, I love you. Like Matt Perry's the best one. Like dude, in the fucking pilot, he was like 37. It was the sort of like, really? he's hot, he's hunky, he's, he's 35, years he's 35 years and he smiles and just cracks up his face. <laughs> like dude, it is ridiculous. Like him just being like, and he talks like this. He's just like, hey babe, I just really thought we should go to the beach today and just enjoy ourselves. He actually talks like that. I'm like, this is unbelievable. This guy was a- love t- to, Okay, miss love. You have to go and do deep research. Yeah, I will. Come back to the next podcast yeah. and you have to let us know. Yeah. How was Luke Perry cast I, I, as a senior high school? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I'm going to find that out. I don't know how he was. Dude, he's he not- He could be principal. Easily. He's also not a good actor. And he, yeah, he, he sucks. Here's another one. Not attractive. Yeah, he's not an attractive man. He looks Such like a, a long head. He just looks. Like, he looks like him he, and Max Chandler Mather should. The only thing that they should ever be cast in is cone heads. That's it. <laughs> Dude, he lo- <laughs> he looks like a fucking like oh, he should be on Spawn Ranch with Charlie Manson. He does not look attractive. Isn't it amazing that Jack's moist cinnamon pie is sitting here reviewing your review? He is deep really? in the lore. And he what says, do you say? Doesn't the gun incident happen in the pilot slash first episode? The gun incident. Uh, oh no, wait, maybe they're arguing with each other. Unbelievable. People- your lore is way off. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, people like 90210. That's my- Dude, you would like it. But yeah, just three little things. So like- 
one line which is uh just uh, again just of the time like 90s right there's like someone on the baseball team that's like look they're trying like the, the stories are ridiculous and like when they talk about s- sex it's so hilarious they're just like they're just like uh like i'm, I'm disregarding melo's place because that's basically that's basically an art project it's like a snuff film in comparison you can't it's <laughs> so bad it's like it just doesn't even make sense it's just like dead yeah, so the victim of this snuff film is art <laughs> like, seriously <laughs> But like in this one, obviously in 9210, it's obviously just like, I think we're ready. I want to uh, have sex. And then like, you know, throughout the episode that w- not Matt Perry, the other guy with like the Elvis hair just walks up to him and she's like, I don't know if, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't really, haven't been thinking about it. I'm not sure you're ready. It's just like, fuck yeah. Like, this is how fucking teenagers talk. Mm. A man goes up to the girl, <laughs> some hot chick who's also 30 being like, I just don't think I'm ready to have sex <laughs> with you. <laughs> Uh, in LA in the 90s but um yeah but anyway this is like <laughs> just little tidbits how good is this okay so there's a in the story arc it's like he's 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 a uh, coaching a little league team again like no one's doing that shit in high school but like he's he's stepping in to coach and then the gr- this lady <laughs> this lady and all the music stores like all that kind of shit and like but isn't that the same as Melrose Place yes that's the similarity, but that's where it ends. But uh-huh. like, and and the exact same cast, but literally the same people. That's where it ends. <laughs> but uh, and it's set in LA. It, it, it's the same show, okay? But basically, uh, <laughs> basically, like, um, yeah. And he's just like, she keeps bringing dim shum to the uh, to the games. Like they're bribing the players. It's like now, what is there? And it's the same way he tries Suvlaki. It's so. It's, there's so many moments. He's like, have some souvlaki. And he tries and goes, Ugh. like they didn't know what that was then. Souvlaki. <laughs> it's ethnic. Yeah, it's ethnic. Then he spat it out. But dude, <laughs> kebab. but in the chat, but in the, <laughs> yeah, a kebab. But in the, but when she's just like, she's bringing dumplings to the game. He goes, no shit. You know, there's, there's like cross fades between scenes. So it's just like, uh, it's just like, no way. And she's like, yeah, look at these things. And he tries the dumpling and he goes, Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then goes to the next thing. He just does that. It's like ding, 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 ding. Like she's like, she brought dumplings to the thing. It was so exotic to be like. Would it be amazing if they did that in the remake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the cast is probably to stay like true to the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine? And it's of like one of the Asian American actors too. Like she's just like, I don't have a problem with this. It's just like, dude, such more simpler times. Come on, so good. So that was one thing where I was just like, I saw that I'm like, wow, like you just, it's, it's, it, it warms the heart, you know? Cause it was an innocent mm. thing. Like I don't, again, all this shit, like anyone that's just like, oh my God. It's like, dude, it was like, that's like them. It's their bizarre, weird, you know, like 902190s biz- like fucking production thing of being like, we like Chinese food and Chinese people. Like it's just time and place. I think it was hilarious. But that was one that was mad. Uh, another line, which is he- hell mad. They're always walking on the beach. It's just, it's you can just feel the camera crew there being like, we've only got one shot. Because it's like, you just, you just see it. It's ridiculous. And there's like the, 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 the guy who's getting beaten up first, like pummeling the shit out of this guy. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's talking to this, the other guy with the, you know, the fucking like Elvis hair. And he's just like, they're talking. He's like, I don't know if I'm ready to do it with her. And he goes what's the line he's just like dude and it, it, he was just like remember when i got he goes remember when i got pitted in the surf and i just ate and i just like totally washed out and it's just like yeah man it happens to everyone it's like that he was just like it's not the point it just made me feel like i didn't belong in this town i, I couldn't fit in <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> who, writes, who writes this shit like getting pitted in the surf it's like i got so washed out i felt so self-conscious about it and I just didn't belong in this town. Like, no one got me. And he's like, everyone gets pitted the first time. He's like, you don't understand. It's like, you got smashed in the surf, I think, dude. I think that's happened. Like, who wrote that and was like, yeah, teenagers talk like this. Like, yeah. I got pitted in the surf. And I was just like, this wave is just like this town. No one gets me. It's like, maybe because you've never surfed. Incredible analogy. It's just ridiculous. This is why I need to keep so watching. It's very it. multi-layered writing. This, this is, yes, yeah. yes. This is why I'm going to keep watching it as well because it's like, there's gold. Like Melrose Place, there was no good lines. It was just like, this is just unwatchable. But this was like, I'm just like gold. And then dude- All right, Miss, what about this? Yeah, yeah. Look, I do really like the fact that you're into 90210. It's good. That warms my heart. Yeah. I would like, however, you to do a comparison of yeah. the last season of 90210 with the last season of Melrose Place. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
that's a good idea. Like the like the last the last episode, the last season or something. Season. Done. Give it a go. Done. And See then I can, the two and like. then I can do like a re like I can do it because that's where all the drama happens. Yeah. Like and if it gets everything out of whack for you, because I know that this is your new favorite show. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Then you can watch all of nine oh two. Let's be honest. What do you do in a normal work week anyway? That is work. <laughs> if, <laughs> Between do like it. smashing my leg. You're right. Yeah, yeah I'll keep watching. Recovery. It. Oh, so um, is it, can you see sort of the seeds in 90210 mm. that hath sprouted the OC? 100%. Uh-huh. Definitely. So it's like, the same thing. It's the same show. Uh-huh. I just say 90210. It's just, dude, I'm sorry, but I will take an ugly Luke Perry yeah. over a man with a list. <laughs> Being sold as a sex symbol. But see, it's the same shit. It's it's the same shit over and over. Like, why did they get that guy as a sex symbol? And they go, it's, just, it's the new Luke Every Perry. Time. It's like, dude, I saw Luke Perry. I'm just like, Zzz. stop. Get him off Maybe camera. Just women don't have good taste in men. So squinty. It's um, like Miss Love now with his broken gimp leg walking in being like, hey, I'm the new hunk in town. Like, why are you getting people with obvious, like, really bad defects? And then they're just like, that's why I like him, because he's like a broken bird with a wing. <laughs> I mean, you might be onto something there. Uh, but it, 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 yeah, all right. Everyone say now. All right. If you're a woman, explain to me why Luke Perry is attractive. And then, for the love yeah, of God, please. tell me how Theth yes. is attractive. Theth? It's, it's the same, dude. It's the same show. It's the exact same show. It's just, there's just weird. Mo- it's just like, dude, there's just like lamer stories where it's like, instead of like a drug overdose, they're kind of just like, you know, it's like, we're moving back to Minnesota. Oh no. And it's just like, dad, the dad's like, you know what? I've decided we're not moving back to Minnesota. Won't your boss be angry? Shut up and dance with me. <laughs> Literally, that kind of shit. But dude, how good is this too? The final line. Like how, how, this is like quite sweet and innocent. At the prom, he's like, we've got uh, Cindy and Law, uh, like, I don't know, fucking like, like uh, I think his name was Brad. Or the, or the, uh, we're, we're in the running for the, uh, the, the king and queen. It's like, and how good is this dude? He goes, and the winner, this is not supposed to be funny either. The, the stuff they try to be funny is just like, no. But they're like uh, the winner of the this year's king and queen homecoming for the prom gets two pizzas with their choice of toppings. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Choice. Yeah, but it, like I'm sure that that was really necessary in one of the most affluent communities <laughs> to have ever existed. I'm sure these chill, these very, very wealthy, like they all live in mansions, right? Yeah, they all live in mansions, yeah. It's just the OC. It's the same thing. It's okay. Just, just like more weathered because of the, the, the videotape, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but like, I wonder if the same thing happened in 90210 because wasn't everyone on the, the OC, OC a massive cokehead? Like in, probably. In real life. Oh, pff, I mean like, dude. If you're not oh my a- God, I don't think about it. The other hunk. Was a cokehead? No, the other hunk on the OC was, again, another 35-year-old man. Yeah, always. It's always like 35 years. What is going... How can there not one attractive 19-year-old on earth? I think it's finally changing. I think now people are getting around it and they're sort of like... No, I'm telling you, it's like exactly what we were talking about before. I saw the new cast of Pretty Little Liars the other day. What is that? They... Pretty Little Liars, I don't know. Right. Right? (laughs) (laughs) I have no idea. I, I would imagine that they're supposed to be pretty... Yeah, it's, it's in, in the, the name. title. It's in the name, yeah, yeah, but nothing. Oh my god! I am telling you now, mm-hmm. the ugliest women in our year, <laughs> the ones whose you know mums were janitors <laughs> at the school, they were and had monobrows more attractive. And the cast are pretty little lies. He's lies. not lying at all. There's no exact... That's not a false st- thing in that statement. But she was way better at what she... Like, her and her mum being like... Dee, 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 would actually be an improvement. Yeah. <sighs> totally, man. That's bizarre. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, uh, if you just ripped your leg off and put Oof. a wig on it and just put a little taste <laughs> of smile on it, I'd be like, damn, that's pretty. <laughs> I think that anyway. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I think, that, honestly, it would be so good if we just... You know what I've always wanted to do as well? Mm-hmm. Tell me if you think this is a good idea, chat. I really underutilize TikTok so much, and I wanted to sincerely mm. make a soap opera on it. 
Dude, not oh not try and like I would just, love that. the same thing. You just being the Hollywood hunk that comes <laughs> in there and me being the Dude, let's do uh, it. sex symbol young <laughs> yes! woman. Yes. And we're not Oh wait, you're the woman. Not, I don't know, okay, whatever. Okay, like okay. you can be the woman if you want. No, no, but no, I think no, no, you, no, no, it's fine. You, you've got this you've got tats with a rolled up sleeve. You're the hunk. <laughs> the casting's over. Give <laughs> that man the role. Give that man the Emmy. You're TV, in TV Emmy for the rest of your life. Hell yeah. Yep. It would Dude, and you know what? Okay, that's a mad idea. We should do that. But you know what? It's actually it would be an awesome life. Like, dude, I was thinking about it, right? The chick in 90210 who was on that show and then just went into charm, just slipped right into another show being like pretending to just going, <laughs> and being like, okay, uh, Bridget, whatever the fucking name is, like she's frozen. Now we can talk about how we're witches. It's like, that has to be the easiest life. Okay, maybe Linda Mar- Mariano's life slightly easier, but like that has to be yeah. the easiest life. No, but- Linda Mariano has to go places. She's still exactly. Yeah, you just live on set. You walk into a green screen. Free food. Yeah. Like, your. Mariano's not getting that. Nah, dude. Like, you, you get to just. Like, I just think it'd be. I, what I'm saying is, I think two has the best life out of all of us. She's the smartest for doing it. And we're all idiots. And that's, and that's that. Mm. Don't you think she's the best life? Like, roll in there. Get a, it's like, okay, I got to get a personal trainer for this. So they're paying for me to get fit and to learn how to do Kung Fu and stunt fighting and with all these mad other people that also are like self-help gurus for some reason that teach you how to do self-help that improve your life while you're getting paid obscene amounts of money and you're getting famous for it and it accolades. And also it's just- And you get more accolades as well and, once it's over. And then it's all, and it's also like chunk work. It's not like, you know, you get like you do it. I'd rather work on and off. It's mad. It's like sh- yeah, FIFO it's shit. FIFO, it's FIFO. Glorious. You're FIFO, but you're fucking fighting uh, Scorpio or whatever his name. Scorpion yeah. from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I think we no, missed- she said it. She said exactly everything that you really? said about it. She was just like, I think who'd it's- have thought that this beats consulting? <laughs> who'd have thought? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, and it's been it like- It was a gamble. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's been like, you have to let go half your stuff. Like, oh, yeah, especially the pregnant one too. Yeah, she has to go. Like, what? <laughs> like- it's yeah, it's it's amazing. So like, I think well, yeah, I think we've missed our calling in life. Maybe we can. Just, we'll have to make our own show. If they don't, yeah, if Hollywood, get up. if Holly, fucking earth, if yeah. Hollywood doesn't come to us, we'll take own. it to them. Yeah, we'll I, get. I really want to do it. A sincere melodrama. And so you guys should give us the ideas, Hell, and then we'll just do yeah, it. That would be amazing, just on TikTok. Put some little sound effects in it. And bit. also, yeah, 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 and also TikTok. I like how limited the time frame is. Like, you want to be creative, limit your options like that is the right idea for creativity you know what i mean it's like mm. that's, that's that's a helpful thing like mm. now but guys you're all getting the wrong idea here you guys are coming are up saying? with joke ideas for the melodrama no we it's are not, delving into this art i'm taking a different direction in my career i am going to make it yeah what you we'll the, call the, it uh Uncle Geordie's Bizarre Time Adventure. Well, that's the show. I don't know. Yeah, no, like, dude, we're going to call it like... Uh, lust. Yeah. Let's call it Lust. lust. <laughs> or like, no, we'll call it, we'll call it like uh, Chippendale Street. Like a street in Surrey Hills. Just any street. Like uh, Favreau Street. Yeah, we'll Favreau call Street. Favreau. Yeah, there we go. We all know <laughs> that place. <laughs> Man. Too well. The exciting... Heady times of working in an advertising agency that mostly just talks about Coles mince meat. Wait a it's sec, heady. wait a sec. Did you do that? No, but that's for Vaux Street, Fuck. isn't it? That's, what they do. Yeah. that's dude. That's probably what I'd be doing at this point in my life because I'd Jordan's be- Creek. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> we have we a, a wiener. wiener. <laughs> well done, Jordan. Firefly two four. Like your name is nine hundred two one eight. Shit. No wonder he's just an ex rider, dude. That. <laughs> Dude, that is amazing. Jordan's Creek. <laughs> Jordan's Creek kills it. That's sick. Okay, we'll call it Jordan's Creek. That's done. Well, you know. That's get- sick. And then also on top of that, look, which one do you want him to do next? I heard that there was a lot of people that wanted Miss Love to start reviewing Passions. What is that? That's that one with that scary little ventriloquist child that they just replace oh. with a doll every now Dude, and then. Dude, I like, w- Kimmy wants to be a real doll. <laughs> Dude, no, no reason, no need to, uh, no need for me to research that because I've watched it all already. I watched all that shit. I watched it all in, when it was on TV. Okay, and so did you. Come on, don't lie. If you ever had us chucked a sickie, nah, I just saw like a little bit here and there. I tried the, the to get doll the is bold fr- and the beautiful for some that reason. Sucked that show. I've watched all suck. of these shows, dude. I watched all of these shows. Like, dude, when I was sick from school, like, did, did you have Foxtel? You don't have Foxtel. 
Yeah. You had Fox? I was one of the first people in, my dad was, See, oh, that's in right, because- the country. <laughs> Why? And he's still hasn't given up on it. Are you serious? So wait yeah. a sec, you were like eating like, it was like, hey, put that slither of garlic back in the fridge. But you had Foxtel. <laughs> yeah. What the so fuck is your weird. life? But that was the only luxury item we had. You been to my house, right? Yeah, like yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It looked nothing. better when it was fireborn. <laughs> It was so weird. The the weird. It's, it, every dad has that thing, don't they? Of just like no luxury items whatsoever, except of course this nineteenth century credenza that was owned by King Edward the Third. <laughs> hey, don't put a coaster underneath it. Yeah, you can eat off it. That's fine. It's strange, insane. arbitrary. Just wars. a gas tank in your house for that was weird too. It's just like it's oxygen, idiot. Yeah. We all need it. Like, I know. What the fuck? I'm getting prepared for when climate change kicks in. <laughs> we need to move to higher ground. I'm just yeah, gonna... but it's been here since like the 80s. I know. So you, what? you weren't even sure if it was happening until like the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we need to weigh it down. Just get the bag of silver that's worth more than the house. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, dude, I've watched the... Timmy, Timmy doesn't like this. Timmy thinks this is a bad idea. And then a quote unquote witch who is just some old hag just being like, Hocus pocus, boil and trouble. It made no sense. Yeah. Why is there a witch and a little dummy that's apparently came to life who's a midget, mm. and then the rest is just the OC just being like, Cindy, you. What is that? It's the worst show ever made. It, 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 it doesn't. It, it, I watched it all. I've already watched it all. I'll revisit an episode. Yeah, go revisit it. You got to see it. It's, 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 it's terrible. Such a strange concept. It's terrible. It, and it's the fact so that it just kept going. Never like, stopped. The never stopped. Kid died. The, it went so long that the kid died. Like he grew up and he's old and dead. And it's just like, ah, well, you know, we'll just keep the doll on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep the doll. <laughs> that guy lucked out. Some midgets like really, low, whatever. Yeah, you know, dude. They, they luck out hard. Um, but what was the other one? Uh, Dude, Bold and the Beautiful sucks. Like yeah, that, 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 like, look, they're beautiful. Let's not doubt it. The they are beautiful. The exact opposite of our sponsor is terrible. Exactly. The spot. They look. They wish that they could hold a candle. Mm. To to to. Uh, and they wish that they could get twenty dollars off if they text. Uh, yes. Twenty two. And they, they wish they could get it up because those they, they come on. Bold and the Beautiful. Like links in the description on how we'll do that. By the way, uh, we'll. We'll put that in there. Get in there, uh, people. I realize that we are running out of time. Oh, and shit. I did Bus- promise the nerds the Let's business. Let's do it. So here you go. Here's your little thing. Let's do it. I'll get more of my uh my 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 soap opera highlights. I'm liking this actually while I'm mm. capacitated. But uh mm, mm, mm. dude, I Because it's the perfect time to start getting hooked to a soap I know. Opera. It's <laughs> literally <laughs> dude, it's literally Bart and the thing of just like <laughs> you know, just... up in the room in his little just yeah. in his little hovel yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. With a cast the on his leg. entire male audience of soap operas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Incapacitated yeah, yeah. men. Yeah, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the fact that I was watching that show, I've been like, oh no, she didn't. Like, yeah. it's <laughs> in the dark during the day. Isn't it? Isn't it such ah. a fucked feeling watching a soap opera ah. in the day? Especially in Australia, like with so. The, huh? it's, it's, no, especially in Australia with the sun. Like, yeah, the, like, the sun is, is so glaring. Now it's mental, and I'm just there, just being like. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy. It's just sad I don't have my piss bottle anymore. I've got a toilet. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, dude. And while you cripple, the one time it's even remotely accepted. <laughs> yeah, that's when it goes. Uh, dude, I want to hear all about the freaking Byzantines because Byzantines, because he got me hooked. As per usual, like three years later, I'm like, Everything you say is bogus, you little SOB. And then, like, I tied it into, like, I don't know, immigration or, like, why the pound sterling dropped a bit. He, he you know, he tied it into that. And I'm just like, it's I'll find a way. Unbelievable. It's like, a very loose bow. No, no, no. It, it wasn't loose for me. <laughs> uh, so, dude, I'm, like, very keen for this. Have you talked about, I don't want to spoil anything, have you talked about your future show at all? No, and this is a sneak peek into okay, what the good. future show. This I don't want to say too much, but yeah, yeah. Because I think I might have to cut it down a lot, and this is the only reason that I'm sharing it, because I think that this is huge. If the it, show doesn't go to plan, I'm more than happy to just go on stage and, and abuse people for you in the interim. Like, hey, shut up, Brisbane. Think you're so fucking good, don't you? Yes. Finally get the backstage show to the front. <laughs> 
<laughs> one day I'm going to open for you. One, one day when I've got the kahunas, I'm just going to do it. I'm gonna, yeah, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be awesome. You'd kill it. I don't know about that. But like, anyway, I digress. Go, hit me. I want to hear this. I want to know. I want to believe. I have taken the blue pill. Don't hold back. Check it, fam. <laughs> Damn. Riz. What a dickhead phrase. Dude, I saw the best TikTok. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't want to interrupt. I'll just quickly tell you, but I just thought that someone sent me this TikTok. And dude, it was insane. It was just like me listening to Gen Z music. There's a guy just being confused. And it's like, there's a host. And it's just sort of like, coming up next, I've got Rizmatiz with Fortune 500. And then it was just like, coming next is 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 a... Uh, is plank with no, uh, like like vagabond with no va- uh, no there was one that was like coming up next was a man uh, is vagabond with no vowels in the name it's like <laughs> <laughs> and it was like with his with his new song drip drip love fortitude and just sort of like big riz uh <laughs> small riz small down like like, dude, it's so true. Dude, they've lost the plot. Yeah. And it's like, he doesn't say vowels when he raps. It's like, hum and down and now you gonna hum and do you do 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 do. It's like, it's not music. It's officially happened where it's like, what's cool become weird and scary. That has 100% happened. I'm listening to it like, bah, all this music. You know, where's railroad funk? Like, <laughs> like dude, it's... It's happened. Mm. It's ridiculous. Mm. Do you agree? Yeah. I don't understand it. Neither like, do I. How is it music? Just... Yeah, dude, explain to us. Do you actually like this stuff? Do you like it? Like, is do it you a, like it? Even if it's about the production, it's still just going ping, 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 with eight of us going... Yeah. That's not... Because all I'm saying is... If you like that music, you can never again complain that this podcast is lazy. Ever. So much more effort has gone into this than Little Rizmatiz's career. Dude, think about how pathetic this is. I'm putting in like at least a year's solid effort, thousands upon thousands of dollars, being like, nah, tweak the guitar up a few decibels. <sighs> what was I thinking? Just bring it back down to you. Like, that was I, not worth the two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> a, a thousand dollars a decibel, um, and obviously, I will say that I overdo it sometimes. I'm trying to go back on that, and be like, it's fine, it's good enough. But I'm this schmuck doing that. These kids getting there, going like, meh, 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 dude, just on ketamine while they're doing it. in their laptop computer, a billion fucking smashes on streams. Well, you could do it too, miss. I, I, I can't. I've real uh, maybe. <laughs> It would be really cool to hear your what is it called trap interpret trap. What is it called? Yeah, it's I don't know, trap. Mumble rap. Mumble, it's all the same shit. Trap. I mean, my brother does it. Yeah, but I want you. I to could. Do it. I could try one day, but if, I was, I, dude, I will do a joke mumble rap song for you for sure. All right. So um, just like when he did a version of Caesar's Palace, I did it. it. Took him three years. Let's try and get this but, down to a lean two. <laughs> But I did do it. Yeah, he did do it. He always does it. Uh, Mislove fulfills his own promise in his own time. Yeah, it's so and bad. in his own time is in capital letters. <laughs> That's when he keeps the caps lock on. Anyway, so, sorry, I'm digressing. New music is scary and weird to me and you're all nuts. So let's go back when music was tr- like true and fair, played with a loot. In the How Byzantine. Is that? So much better. With a little puffy and pants. And great guys with long beards that... We never will know if they needed pilot or not because never. they weren't allowed to have a Too bad for and them. That's the way to do it. Exactly. We are lucky, but we'll see. We'll see what they are. Uh, but yeah, look, we this love has been pilot. Me out a lot. This is sick. I'm actually so excited about this. It's like yeah, we've it's done great. it, and this is just the beginning, baby. So yeah, it's going to be a long adventure with our new friends. And come and join us with the, what was the code again? Geordie's 20, eh? (laughs) Sorry. Double check. Hey, you'll just have to go back and see the code, but the discount's sweet. Yeah, Geordie 20. Geordie 20. I mean, dude, let's be honest. Yeah, we'll link it in the bottom. It'll be in the show notes and in the description. It's all the the trap that's doing it to you. So we're trying to help you here, you know? All those 808s, the low end boom is what's doing it. So like we're, you know, we're helping you as well as paying our trap. Yes, it is the classic Gen Z approach to life mm. do things that are absolutely damaging to your brain <laughs> and your body because now you live in the future and there's a pill for that there's a pill for that it's ins- it's amazing mm. dude the fact if pilot had existed when we were in high school 
dude, we wouldn't have had any like, uh, like you want your hair, you want to get a boner, you want to have good skin, you want to have, I don't know, like you want to like have the skin of a 14 year old at 40. Dude, we wouldn't have had, no one would have been self-conscious. It would have just been like, there's, there's a pill for that. Yep. So obviously we, was us. we missed out. We missed out on mumble rap. We got cat dog. Yeah. You get like your whole world to be changed in an instant. Yeah. But uh, look, you know, we're, we're here for it. You get a lot of people with Justin Bieber haircuts screaming about being on an island. <laughs> we never got that. Oh, yes, we did. It was Survivor. Uh, but <laughs> the original. We didn't get the... Uh, and the bitch. The jungle boys making out or whatever they're called. What are they called? Yeah, I can't, the, I can't remember that. So yeah the cool. island boys. Island. island. Did yeah. you see that they made out? No, they did more than that. Sign up also to the Up Late Pod, which will continue after this one because we can't talk we'll about them on Twitch. Uh, where we will talk we'll be more. talking about something much more saucy now, which is yeah, yeah. But sorry, I'm tax s- give it to one thousand AD. <laughs> it's called modern content. <laughs> Fam. Kids. Fam. It's a little more lasting than your Young flippies. <laughs> Young flippies. Dude, it's, I'm, embra- I, I, I'm embracing my boomer years. Like, I'm literally, like, just, like, I'm, like, young flippies. You might as well be a uh, young tuna fish. Honestly, I should, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm leaning into it, dude. I'm leaning Yeah, there is a it. point where you just realize, just like, f- you know, I don't care that I'm not cool anymore. Yeah. I really don't. I just can't. if this is cool... <laughs> I don't want to be a member. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I liked it back in the day when people used to wear top hats like they did at our school. <laughs> As a joke, admittedly, but they still wore <laughs> um, Damn. <laughs> feathered pins. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, so the Byzantines so, were, it was robbed from us. We hate the... Uh, who, Mehmed, we hate him. Fuck Mehmed uh, II. Mehmed I. Mehmed the first. Where, where, yeah, yeah, he had his yeah, moments. moments. Yeah, that's uh, right. Second... Eat it. Remember the fourth? I'm sure you're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, hate to I death. Care about you. We hate to death that they left that little trap door open for, I assume, drying out sausages, and that's what destroyed the whole Western world forever from there on. Mo- from there on. I can't believe that you remember that. That's incredible. I do, dude. Uh, look, I told you, as soon as you relate it to something that I have one of my freak niche obsessions, where it's like any, something about the economy or something about you know, the finance or the dollar or immigration, as soon as it gets attached to that, it's like that thing where it's just like attach it to a, I, I don't know, it's like a bigger, some sort of project where it's just like, you know, it's like in the Simpsons where it's just like attach the and a crusty's bill to stop flying. Yes. It's like that. Yes. You attach it and I'm just like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a PhD student. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then you're one of those uh, susceptible rube Republicans from the Arkansas <laughs> district just being like, approve. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm like, now I know all about it and I always will. But uh, <laughs> get it out. Get it out. But um, yeah, so we freaking hate the left that little thing open. And that's we where, hate all that. Yeah, but but what about the taxes? We love the taxes because they were high, weren't they? But it all functioned and worked. That was the point. Yes. Well, yeah. that's a very astute missile. Yes. How hey, you know that? What the hell? But anyway, <laughs> uh, look, I'm telling you, you told me all this. this but uh, no, but I, I don't think that I've really impressed this point on enough, which yeah. is that look, what the Byzantines gave us, what we inherited from them. I will never be able to give full credit to, basically mm. because I'm too stupid. There is a book that I tried to read yeah. called Cambridge's Intellectual History of Byzantium. Okay. It was like trying to Damn. read a brief history of time. You it was just f- way over my head. Dude, say that say, say the title again. Cambridge's Cambridge University's Intellectual History of Byzantium. So glad I have you as a friend, because every other friend I have the most intellectual thing that comes to their mind is being like, do you want to go to the AFL show today? Oh, it's so, it's cr- so scary thinking about that, isn't it? It's just so awesome to hear that. It's just like, man, I'm just really glad that at nearly 34, I have a mate that's just like, yeah, I'm reading this book. It's just like, thank God. It just needs to, it needs to even now people just being like, did you see what uh, people have been posting on Instagram? It's like, no, I don't. No, yes, but I don't want to see it. Like so anyway, I'm very proud of you, but you didn't finish it, did you? 
Cheers. No, I didn't. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah, finish yeah. it. I tried. I, I should I just understand. be at the footy with you guys. Really, no hope. Just chuck it. If the anyone board. does, just give me a rundown of it. But what I can understand of it is that there was all these ideas that they kept in their mighty Constantinople walls going yeah, yeah. throughout that thousand years. Yeah. That if we didn't have them now, yeah. uh, we would not have basic, basic academic principles that we used to stoke on, you know, the Renaissance and all that kind of stuff. Now, you're always going to have all these dickheads out there saying that, oh, it's very European central because it's just a thing now in, what, in really? like, intellectual circles oh, to just uh, shit on Western civilization. Oh, but, what is that but about? It's this thing where they're like, every civilization had its contributions and in the same sentence start saying like, but the Catholic Church is to um, burn books and everyone from Western civilization is dumb and racist. Like that's uh, their thing. And then a well like, argued dude, point. Well argued point. Very as well always, balanced. Well but the thing that they never point out is that, like, dude, Byzantium was just light years ahead of the. There was a reason that kings and caliphs yeah. used to go to the walls of Byzantium. I'm just going to grab the, the, the thing. Go on. And they would fall to their knees, cry would not understand how a society like this was functioning yeah. and convert to Greek orthodoxy. There was a reason for that. And Jesus. it was just because it was just so much more advanced than anything in the world at that time. And I'm sick to death of people always saying, oh, there was this, this is amazing. Like, it's always just like Western civilization, stupid, dumb, backwards rock apes. And then, you know, Jesus. Uh, you know the, 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 the Islamic caliphate was this, always uh, advertises this Islamic golden age because they kept a few... Roman ideas going after they took over the provinces. Right. They did not. They kept mm. a few. The, 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 like the intellectual Byzantium history thing is just like, it's beyond your comprehension. You're too dumb to understand that. <laughs> now, the reason you think that the Islamic Caliphate was genius is because you do understand basic things like, oh, yeah, aqueducts, yeah, I get that. Right. But like, this is nothing in comparison to what they kept going. Yeah. On a shoespring budget, like the, it was a tiny block against this huge horde of Muslim invasion. Why do you think that they were able to do that? It was because they had the intellectual hardware to keep a system going in function mm. that was able to repel this huge, massive onslaught of like most of the known world just hammering I don't know this how they did it. very small... Pro it's Turkey, dude. Like the empire was pretty much just Turkey the country against yeah. like all of Africa, all of the Middle East, just hammering them all the time. And so they survived. Mm, mm, mm. And... The more I was looking into it and I was looking for reasons for it, I honestly do think that the fact that they were highly religious did give them like this galvanizing effect. Mm. That was definitely a big part of it. So yeah. props to Constantine for changing it to this monolith religion that was very well needed in the Middle Ages, I could assure you. Yeah. Yeah. But it was also the fact that they were able to keep Rome's tax system going. The barbarians mm. and the caliphate could not. The caliphate had a tax system. It was nowhere near as comprehensive and complicated as this. And the reason that they were able to do that, it is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's just something that I've been thinking about so much now, which is like, dude, these are all ideas that we just take for granted now. Yeah? But just basic concepts. Like, you pay tax mm. because you're educated, mm. and you're educated because you pay tax. Damn. That's actually like... That's some. That's like it's so simply. It's so, you're putting it so simply, but it's it's kind of profound. Isn't it's actually it, a very profound. Isn't it profound point. because you just? That's a very. You profound don't think point. about it, but this no. was a time when kings and honestly, like at best, this is the difference. This is the way that it's being described to me. Mm. Kings at that time were essentially fucking bush rangers. No wonder they all dress like Ned Kelly. <laughs> you know, that, that that was really most systems. Like, that's what the barbarian system was pretty much just smashing other fucking civilizations, grabbing the goats, and then that's how they... And they had, like, weird... Not weird, just very simple tax systems, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's the same with the caliphate. The caliphate obviously had a much more comprehensive tax system than that, nothing like Byzantium's. But at best, at that time... At that time, in Byzantium, there was the concept, the idea. It's, it's so weird. You just take this for granted now. It's so simple. You can't imagine a society without it. Mm. You're a citizen. You are a citizen. Hell yeah. As in, you owe the state certain duties and the state owes you certain duties mm. in return. Mm. And mm. that's what you're paying tax for. They understood 
uh, dumb peasant farmers were so much more enlightened than even Australians now. We were talking about this last week where it's just like, this is Australia's concept of how society should run. I should get Medicare for free and I don't want to fucking pay anything for it. You know, like, <laughs> that's how we think now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they no, it's true. Not. It's true. I think, but I think that that was a big part. And I don't want to get into all that again. We all know about the Venetians and everything. We've talked about it. At least I think we, at least we have in private. But like, I think that's a big problem with when you worship money. If you worship money, if money is your God and you have no responsibility to your land and your heritage and your, let's say your history and there's no, there's no responsibility. There's nothing that you feel that you need to give. It's just take. It's all take. That's, that's not, that's not a good way to be. That's, sh- that's like a new, that's not, that is what you're saying is a more on uh, ancient concept, an older, more in, ingrained concept to like duty, responsibility, but it's not land. Even a, it's not even these high-minded ideas because like knights and things did have that code of honor, but this is more just an idea of like, if you do not have a citizenry that understands that they need to have a state system running mm-hmm. for their hospitals, for their... Uh, orphanages for their army for the fort upkeep all of that like they understood that this was collectively theirs Mm. that they were all paying into that idea Mm. this was an idea that virtually disappeared off the face of the earth after the collapse of the roman empire can you imagine a world where there wasn't that basic like when you sit there and reluctantly explain this to aussies they're kind of like yeah yeah i get it but like dude most people back then thought that they were fucking centaurs. They were just like people yeah. on horsebacks just shooting arrows and shit. Like this yeah. was this, the world that it was in. The best thing would have been something like the caliphate where it was this idea that like you're, you're a subject paying tribute mostly. It was this idea. We're talking about the idea in mm. these people's heads. Their idea of paying tax was sort of just like, I'm Islamic, I don't have to pay tax. Put it on the Jews and the Christians and this kind yeah. of idea. There was that. Yeah. But it was always like, look... In these societies, there was this concept that you were lucky mm. if they built a hospital for you. That was just because of the greatness of the caliph or something. Right, you know? Or like right, if right. the king decided to build a church, it was because of in his honor. This yeah. was not the idea that they had for the emperor of Rome. You have to think of the emperor of Rome like the way that you see a school principal. This, this is a very advanced idea, mm. very highly educated idea mm. that like, okay... He's appointed. Maybe his children become emperor as well, but maybe not. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe like an, Marcus, a, an immigrant becomes emperor. Did, maybe did, a beggar becomes emperor. Yeah. This, did Ma- Marcus yeah. Aurelius's son didn't become emperor, did he? Just yeah, yeah, a, Commodus did, yeah. Oh, so yes. my bad, my bad. Uh, but this is the, 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 the general idea in these places was like, yeah, it could be, because like nepotism exists and people understood that, but it was not a monarchy. That position was not a monarchy. It was like it was it was a principle. It was a public servant. They mm. understood this. The mm. population Damn. understood that the emperor was a public servant. Yes. This is not the case in the rest of the world. No. That did not exist. And the reason so that they crazy. had that is because they had the idea that they're citizens. So it was just the emperor was just another cell in the yeah. body politique that made up this place that they had and isn't this amazing nerds you're going to fucking cream yourself i'm talking about the the byzantium now but i'm also talking about this is it this incredible this is a warhammer reference oh no isn't it amazing we we could get away from it you can't it all Uh, leads back to that all roads you thought all roads lead back to byzantium they do (laughs) but then they go straight into 40k all roads lead to the cronulla warhammer shop (laughs) (laughs) fuck thought you could get away (laughs) yes yeah, just a reminder, everybody, he is an artist. Ah, no. Uh, but yeah, they had the idea, how mm. is this? This was a concept that everyone understood. We know this because uh, emperor after emperor had to pay homage to this in their speeches. This idea, it translates to, get ready, get ready, the greater good. It translates <sighs> to the greater it's good. It's something that isn't, it isn't even said anymore. It's not even said. What the hell? It's not even said. That's incredible. Think about that. No one says that. If Biden was like, hey, you should read a good Jack, they'd be like, he's a communist. Yeah. You're a communist. Jesus For Christ. making sure that there is an apparatus functioning oh my God. that supports society in the first place. 
It's just, dude. Like, there is a reason that it lasted for a thousand years. Mm. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. There is a reason for that. And it is because, like, is... we're talking about, like, the intellectual hardware here. It's just, like, the, the tax code that they had was complicated. Mm. It was efficient, mm. unbelievably efficient. Even in the dying days of the Byzantine Emperor, when it was just, like, Empire, when it was just, like, this tiny little fucking patch of Greece. Mm. You know, it was still collecting more tax revenue than most kings in Europe. Really? Still to that day, and they were happy to do it because, like you said, it was the it was a commitment to the to the understanding of what the system meant and how it worked and that it functioned. It was like yeah. a safety net, which is because this is how we know that the population was at least somewhat happy with it and at least somewhat understood it. First of all, massive literacy rate in comparison to the rest of the world. I think really forty like percent of the population was literate in the Dark Ages. <laughs> There's a reason it's called the Dark Ages. <laughs> Holy shit. And then shit. people always talk about what a wonder world uh, the, the caliphate was at the time because they're just like, oh my God, people are so much more literate than the backwards Europe. Right. 10% literacy rate, maybe 20%. <laughs> it's called This the is caliphate. what I'm talking about. It's just like all they did was take over Persia, take over Roman provinces and be like, can you run it? But they didn't know how to fucking run yeah, it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I there see, was like I very see. intricate well-established knowledge that had been running for a thousand years before that, that they kept running for a thousand years. Take, right. There's a lot of positions in that. Like the, the the level of bureaucracy in, this is what I love about Byzantium. All these cunts that are always talking about cutting red tape and stuff. It, mm. It's just proven mm. that like during a time when the entire world was ascending into utter madness, right? this society kept functioning over Elder. and over. It was like walking into the Jetsons. Flourishing when you walked basically. In. Flourishing even in its darkest moments, it yeah. was still flourishing. The Jetsons. It probably was, though. They're like, it was. Is that a mule? Yeah. 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 I'm freaking out. <laughs> it was, it's, it's very, very hard to describe how advanced this place oh, was. Right. But you can in the literacy rates, you can in the life expectancy rates. It was just way better than living in 31. Else. Yeah. <laughs> the ripe old age of 31. <laughs> Do you reckon? That's just sort of like, yeah. Well, you've. What what more what what would you need more years for? Yeah, <laughs> we're on Time Magazine as thirty three year olds. How did <laughs> they do it? Is the secret the world's mules. oldest man? <laughs> well, I eat two mules a day. I knew I'd eat more mule. Um, She's better than us. <laughs> No, that is fascinating. But that yeah, is like we know that the general population was somewhat happy with this order. First off, because they kept paying into it and they didn't dissemble it. Because the whole thing about a civic society, a mm. civilization, can have civilization without citizens. Mm. Is Hell yeah. the population has point. to at least understand to some level there's a reason that you're paying tax. Yeah? Yes. But then the second thing is that we know is that there was not, this is incredible, there was not a single peasant revolt in the entire history of the East Roman Empire. Wow. Holy shit. There was a lot of texts from the time saying all oh, these oppressive taxes that made it very hard for the peasants to live. Right. But that was just the rich upper class yeah. complaining that they had to pay fucking they had tax. They tax. Yeah, Dude, so they just were just like, Look, what about the poor man on the land? The same shit that the Nationals say today. That yeah. poor man on the land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do they pay you at all? No, it's all Gina Reinhardt. Anyway, that poor man. <laughs> yeah, that, totally. That's what it is. Yeah? It's just, yeah, it, I would, I'd love to see how often is the case when people are complaining about like, you're locked into taxes, you're not free. How often it is just high earning uh, people that have been lobbied by like, you know, companies and stuff just to be like, we're paying you to say this. I don't see- A hundred percent of the time. Yeah, I don't see poor people complaining about taxes. It's like, oh yeah, I'd be paying a lot more for hospitals and schools, et cetera, et cetera, if this didn't exist. Because first of all, I don't have the money to budget Mm. it's good that it's forcibly taken from me. It's like, a, I don't have to budget. It takes the time out of it, yes. you know? Um, and also I wouldn't be able to afford to budget because I'd just be like, hey, maybe I'll just gamble this. I'll double my money, you know? Like, mm. dude, it sounds, uh, it's, it's so it's so pathetic. It's just the same thing as like going to Europe. It's like, did you know that their fish and ships are the same as ours? But like, I fucking, uh, even just being in the fucking hospital for this, it's like, dude, I admire the, like I haven't paid a cent and I admire them so much. And the system is, am it's amazing, dude. It's all free. It's incredible. Like I, I, B People really need to understand that point. A doctor, let alone all the other equipment, a doctor is an extremely expensive instrument. Absolutely. By itself. 
They, just yeah. that. Like they fucking, I don't know. First of all, on one level, I don't know how to do it. It's amazing. It's like, he's a gaping wound. I'll do this and not pass out blood all of a sudden. But then that's all incredible. I'm like, I'm in awe of these people. It's just like, how the hell do you do it? I, I couldn't take stitches out. I couldn't, I couldn't do any of it. I literally wouldn't be able to die. So I think it's, I think to me, they're like number one to me now. I'm like the most, it's just like revere them the most on earth. Um, but then you know, on a practical level, yeah, expensive, very expensive. Like very expensive. how much would this have cost me in America? And the system of distributing it across the country. So even when yeah. you live in a fucking town that let's be honest, should have died like a long time ago. Tottenham. There's still Tottenham. Yeah. Tottenham. Why the fuck <laughs> is there a man that knows how to cure cancer in Tottenham? Why is he there? <laughs> and he's making me On pies. my text dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I, and the thing is too, the argument is like, I, can, I know people can say, people say, oh yeah, governments miss spend money. There's, Blowouts, of course, but like, dude, so do like private yes, companies. Yes, but here's the alternative. This yeah. is what we learned Hell. from Byzantium. This whole fucking argument that the libertarians have of what a wonderful utopia the world would be without tax. We know what that society looks like. It's called Dark Ages Europe. Like the Jesus. tax system just broke down. Actually, that's that's, well, that's what proof. Happens. There's it's a proof. proof. That's your that's your run. The, the 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 unashamedly big government country that was Byzantium. Kept going, kept flourishing, was only undermined by very sneaky financial instruments invented by the Venetians that is all that IMF-like shit that you're happening yeah. now. Like, that's the thing that... Look, think about it like this. I, I love thinking about it like this. The tax system of Byzantium, these were Middle Ages people. Like, yes, they were very advanced for their time. Unbelievably, Space Age advanced for their time. The Japan of their time, yeah? Mm. But... The, the, but they're still in the Middle Ages. And yet, with their tax code, with their unashamed big government, they were able to withstand climate change, plagues, <laughs> numerous plagues. That's mental. Plagues uh, are a big one. Uh, invasions from every angle. I love thinking about it. It was Germany in World War I, but those pussies only lasted five years. They went for a millennium. A fucking millennium. And uh, like attacked That's from every angle. God... Like just an Allah jihad for 300 years. You know how we just freak out now where they're like, oh my God, they got a journalist. Just imagine if that was basically the entire world just being like, <laughs> just like running in all the, just endlessly. For three centuries, be like, <laughs> fuck. Oh, you know, that's like insane. that's what was happening. Yeah, and they insane. withstood all of it at the same time it really <laughs> because of the tax system, because they had that basic concept in their mind yeah. that they're a citizen. It was almost extinguished. It is yeah. the centerpiece to being in a civilization. I mean, look, I think, I think that there's probably, I would, I would say the direct, uh, the, the direct correlation between like, in terms of if you had to fork out however much money for a visit to your doctor or the hospital or something like that, no welfare, like no social net. The stress that that would get on, that, that that would take on your physical being, would be infinitely higher than that. Like once a month, being like, "Yeah, yeah damn text, man." I know. When shit hits the fan, you literally don't have to worry about it. I mean, like handing over a card. There's a reason why people do like zip pay, ten bucks a week, fifteen bucks a week. It's like it. It, it feels. First of all, it is easier because it's like it's not a fat chunk of money. But it feels easier as well. So, like, the, the, to be in a situation where you just have to pay something outright, I think that people would like f give them heart attacks. It'll just be like, I gave so much money. Whereas, I don't know, it's just the right. Th I mean, look, this as is just a perfect example. This is so dumb. <laughs> Thanks for paying for it, but like, you know, like it was kind of like, it's amazing. It's an amazing, it's amazing thing. Amazing. And that that quality of like care. I mean, yeah, I was saying before, I felt so bad. I'm just like, can I have another endone? These like kids are dying in Gaza. Like they're just like, can I have my? It's like, can you have you found my leg? And I'm just like, another endone, please. The stitch is hurting. <laughs> um, we're very lucky. And like, dude, you're right. You're right. I think like people like, dude. Look, let's be honest. I can I fall into that emotional argument a lot. Where it's just like they're taking your money. It's all about uh, you do it for yourself. You don't need anyone to give you a handout. You don't need any, uh, no, anyone taking your money. But it's like, it's so idealistic. It's like, yeah, maybe. But like, dude, 
What if she, like it's so small? It's selfish. Picture. It's selfish. It's, it's so selfish. small picture. It is small picture. It is. It I is really small just, picture. Like, it is. Dude, it, a massive reason that they kept going. I honestly think is because there was that idea of the greater good. Like there, there mm. was this idea that no, you, exactly. You, like everyone in that society had this concept. They, they, obviously, there's always going to be selfish people. There's always going to be narcissists. Yeah. That, yes, yeah. that's true. But the, the, just the fact that there was a general concept of like. You are here for a bigger purpose. This mm. is a big civilization project. We are protecting That's awesome. something very special here. Yeah. Something very special. It's a that project. Could have easily been extinguished at any moment. There was yeah. many, many moments in Byzantium history where there was just the last civilized army on earth staring down a horde of barbarians. And if yeah. one thing went the wrong way, that's the end of civilization as a project, really. Dude, fuck. When you put it that way, it is actually huge. Like, that is insane. That yeah. they were just bastion of holding on. It's just it's like... But there was a reason that these men were inspired to fight in such desperate circumstances continually. Mm. Otherwise, you just fold. I mean, a lot of provinces did to the caliphate. They were just like, fuck it. It is doing a better system than what the barbarians had. Like Spain is a perfect example of that. Mm. That was not the case in Byzantium. They were protecting something. Jesus. And so, yeah, it's, yeah, like it's, it's just, it's just, inc- I, look, all I'm saying, it's all the of mo- this is it's, just it's, like, it's, now it's, when I think about it, yeah. EU, give Greece a bailout. Yeah. They've earned it. Yeah. They've earned yeah. so much blood spilled. They literally... Just so you can sit there with your little bank glasses there while, like, Nigel Farage just yells, who are you? Who are... You wouldn't have the fucking microphone. I know you you've got a booming voice. I know, you wouldn't have the mic. You wouldn't have the planes. You wouldn't have any opportunity to actually... Yeah, dude. It's, it's really so something true. that is just, like, I've been thinking about so much, which is, like, Greece... Stop bragging about the fact that you invented democracy. That's yeah. like being proud of inventing the traffic jam. <laughs> it's inefficient and shit. Yeah. You should be proud of yeah. the fact <laughs> that in its darkest fucking hour, you stood the line yeah. for not, you know, humanity's darkest decade, not yeah. its darkest century, its darkest millennium. Why the you f- held the line. Why the fuck isn't this taught as like mandatory history in year eight? It should be. This is, is no, I'm telling you, it is part of the conspiracy. It's the Venetian But thing. I'm it's not going to get into thing. that yeah, because yeah. The, you're going to have to pay for that and come see my live show. But this yeah, is just like yeah, a big yeah. part it is of insane. it. That I'm going to be repeating points in the show anyway, but I just really need to impress in, upon people these ideas. Like the world that you live in now, you cannot take for granted. That's the thing. This, this yeah. came from generations of sacrifice. And I think that honestly, this is what I'm trying to do with my Jordan Shanks program now as a result of reading so much about Byzantine history. I really think that we need to get back to the basics, which is yeah, yeah. you are a citizen. Yes. You owe the state and the state owes you. That is a good That's system. A, it's it a, is a good yes, system. Yes, it's a good system. It's a good relationship. Like, what do we... I, I mean, I know it's just like a talking standard talking point, but like if America is the alternative where it's just like crumbling infrastructure, cu- crumbling institutions, desperation, poverty, lobbies, mass profits with a dwindling middle class uh polarized uh you know politics as a result of that like inflammatory politics like this is what we want yeah no that's the goal is it like misinformation is already gonna fuck shit up enough Mm. like that's gonna be a problem Mm. just to combat for sure if we don't have that as the fundamental root, and like, dude, I was like a libertarian once because, like, I had the emotional argument of like, yeah, why should I do that? It's all, everyone. but the irony is, is like, no, dude. Like, if there's anyone that needs a social fucking net safety it's the net, cripple. it's the cripple who's like, dude, I'm not some like entrepreneurial fucking. Yeah, free market doesn't benefit. But this is the whole crazy. Thing. It, doesn't it doesn't benefit the entrepreneur in the last. Like, you know what's really hard. You know who it's really hard to convince people to buy the ShamWow to? People that don't bathe. Yeah. You know, like it's, yeah, it's hard yeah. to do all these stupid, exactly. dumb, gimmicky products if exactly. you don't have like a state that is propping people up where they're wealthy enough to buy your shit in the first place. Exactly. exactly. It's such a stupid, like I've been thinking about it, like, the, the idea, the, the idea that they have of this, this shitty mantra, taxation is theft. Yeah, well, you know what is replaced? Mm. You know what they replace taxation with when you get rid of it? Mm-hmm. Theft. 
that's the world that you live in. You don't You're have right. rulers anymore. You have warlords. Exactly. Just coming around, exactly. taking as they will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, companies aren't, uh, you know, charities. They're not going to... I don't think... It, like, it happens. There's examples. But it's usually for PR or a way to make more money. Mm. But a company isn't going to come in and, like, build hospitals for anything other than PR or to make money. That's what yep. they're interested in. So it's like, yep. it's going to be replaced by, like, potentially the world presented to you by Maccas, which is terrifying. Uh, that's a, that's a, at worst. Yeah, and also, but isn't it, it presented by Maccas? Enough! It's, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> um, but, like, you know, like... It, 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 that's that's at worst, but at best, it's going to be like this sort of like lukewarm version of society of, of any semblance of like a safety blanket, where it's like the private sector will set, step in. It's like it'll be the yeah. most luke- with competitive rate <laughs> <laughs> that they'll decide and set. It's like, and you know, this I fell off my fucking bike and hit my knee. That's not a big deal, but like, dude, cancer. You know, my mum's partner's getting chemo right now for cancer and like thank fuck for that it's helping it's, it's it, you know they have private health care as well but it's like there are rebates that have helped a lot you know like people that go through really really serious shit like do you really want on top of that the stress of money it's just like hard you know and public education dude like these things should be they for some reason as well and i blame the internet but thank you for watching not including this show obviously uh Shine up to the Patreon. It seems it, it seems as if it's just like institutions that should be revered are not anymore. It's like if you're a teacher, it's like, oh, you're just a teacher. If you're a healthcare worker, it's like, oh, if you're a nurse, if you're a I mean, suppose doctors still up there, but they, these aren't these aren't like revered in society. It's like, dude, being getting educated, having a good teacher is life it's kind of it what life's life all about. Life's kind of it's what it's all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Especially because if you come pe- from a shit house. Oh, a hundred percent. Because if you have a shit, if you have shit role models, you have shit parents or something like that. You're What's your saving grace? What's n- nothing. your Nothing. Your life is, you're fucked. You're mm-hmm. fucked. You're fucked. Especially if you're an empathetic person that's a high in agreeableness, an agreeable person. It's like, you need a human being. You're not going to just sit on YouTube and get your life will be fine. Or even books. It's, most people, it won't, it won't happen. You need people that can actually influence you and teach you things. Like intelligent people that can teach you things. That would just be gone. And like you can't under underestimate the power of that, and like the fact that people just like eh, teachers fuck them, nurses fuck them. It's like, what are we revering in society? Like that cunt with a big forehead that was just like people are lazy. That's why the economy is fucked. <laughs> you know? That yeah, cunt? yeah. And we do. <laughs> why? That's what we revere now. It's insane. But that's what I'm saying. You can tell that this is reflected in society Andrew in the Tate Byzantine yeah. era because what were the revered jobs in their society? Uh, tell me. Priest? Bishop, yeah, priests, yeah, yeah, yeah. priests and soldiers, i.e. service to country or God. Now, yeah. God, you have to think about back then, they provided a lot of the social services. That was like the Department of Social Services Damn, back then. That was true. Like, you know, the big Greek guy there would have just been called like Bill Shotianus. <laughs> that, that would have been him. So the thing is, when you say God, you're actually just talking about running hospitals and orphanages. Yeah, and exactly. And it's also God represents... It's almost a metaphor for the for the state. It's a metaphor for a bigger picture. Yeah, a bigger thing. Yeah, that's what like, you're there to yeah, serve. Yeah. So, so it, it is social like services. It's it just like serve, serving God or state. That's how mm. they saw society. That is a successful society in my books. I, yeah, it's incredible. it is. And I, I need to do more of that. I mean, like, I was thinking about giving blood the other day, but... Uh, I had to, uh, I pass out even when I get a small vial. So I probably won't do that. Isn't but it I incredible to- that like, even when the empire was diminishing, yeah, one of the emperors took a tour of Europe mm. and he was begging them for help and no one wanted to fucking help him. This is just the, the true travesty of history. But uh, he was going around to all of these kings no one and they were him. enamored by him. Really? Enamored. Really? Yeah. They thought that they were just like, yes, yeah, so I get to flex on the emperor. And they come <laughs> in there and it's just like, holy shit. This, this guy knows how to read. Oh my god! You know? Damn, isn't it incredible just to think about that? That for it was not uncommon for kings to be illiterate. Not in fucking Byzantium, that didn't happen. Jesus Christ! Anyway, we're running well. Over yeah, time. yeah, we're, we're over yeah. time. Yeah. Look, the, 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 tune in. Uh, j- join up to the up late. We're going to keep going with the. 
tasty conversations will continue. Sorry about the uh, early technical difficulties, but we recovered. Thank you to Pilot. Sign up if you want some, uh, their long array of uh, uh, of products. Um, we're looking forward to a long and fruitful career a relationship. Yeah. But, um, Shout out, Pilot. But yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll be back with Ali next week. Uh, and i uh, just like to sign out on this because I think he shares the sentiments of everybody on this podcast. Tezza Poet 14 wrote, Here a bit late, but sucked in Ali. Pakistan are so shit at cricket, lol. <laughs> I think I think we'll leave it at that. He'll appreciate that hugely. Uh, we'll see you on the app late. Ciao, Geordie Twenty. <laughs> Links in the description. Hey, oh.